I teach aspiring software engineers how to get a job in the industry. And something that I always get asked by my students is what is the process of interviewing for a front end position? Well, today we're going to talk about it. Hi, my name is Zoe. If you're new here, I'm a software engineer and former university professor who loves teaching folks how to code. If you're interested in learning how to code, check that first link in the description. But today we're going to be talking about the interviewing process to get your first software engineering job. Let's get started. As with any job, you're going to start searching online. You're going to check out LinkedIn, maybe sites like Y Combinator, and you want to just start applying for the job that you want to get. Now, if you're an entry level engineer or you don't have a lot of experience, you might notice that a lot of these jobs might seem out of your range of experience. They might be asking for two, three and four years of experience. What I would recommend is don't focus too much on the years of experience. Try and focus on the skills. Do you know the skills that they're asking for? HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React. If you know and you're comfortable with those skills, go ahead and apply. I mean, don't apply for a you know staff level position if you've never held an engineering job before, but you should feel comfortable applying to a junior level software engineering position based on your knowledge and comfort with these languages. So once you've gone ahead and applied, within a few weeks, you should be hearing back from recruiters. And the second step is gonna be your phone screen. So on the phone screen, you're gonna have a phone call with a recruiter and really they're just there to verify that you are who you say you are, that your resume checks out, that you understand the technology that you say that you understand. This is also the time where they're gonna ask if you have any other job applications going at the same time and what your timeline is in order to get hired because this will affect where they put you in the queue of getting your interview. This is a great point for you to ask any question that you might have about the role. Is it fully remote? Is there a salary band? There are certain things that might be make or break for you as a potential applicant for a role. And you want to make sure that you're not wasting their time or your own by asking any of these mission critical questions in this first interview. Assuming you pass the first phone screen, then you move on to the technical round of interviews. Now, depending on the company, this could be one or multiple interviews. And depending on the level, again, you're going to have usually more interviews as you get to a more advanced role. So if you're just applying for junior level or entry level roles, this is usually going to be just one, maybe two rounds of interviews. So in your technical screen, you're going to have an interview now with an engineer, usually somebody who's going to be on the team you're working with if you get hired or somebody you're just going to be working closely with. For front end roles specifically, this is typically not a leak code style of question. This is usually more in the form of a project or an API based challenge. So they might give you an API to work with and ask you to return certain values from the endpoints and maybe do something with those values. Or they'll give you some sort of take home challenge and have you build out maybe a landing page that does something specific or modify an existing project. Again, during this technical screening, this is another great opportunity for you to have your questions ready. Because as I mentioned, this person who you're going to be interviewing with probably is going to be on the team you're working with or again, somebody you're going to be working closely with so they can answer a lot of the questions that the recruiter might not have been able to answer. 